When I moved into my new home, it didn't have an alarm system. So I thought, what a perfect way to use Home Assistant. So I came across Alarmo. It's a hex integration that allows you to easily build your own alarm system within Home Assistant. So I'm gonna show you today how to install it. And secondly, we're gonna add two PR sensors and two door sensors to get a basic system working. Let's have a go. So to install our Alamo system, we're going to go along to Hex and we're going to search here. Now I will leave a description, a link in the description below to a Hex install video that worked really well for me if you don't have it. So once we go to Hex, we're going to search for Alamo and there's two components here. We have the Alamo um, automation itself and then we have the Alamo card which will allow you to control it. So first thing we'll do is we'll go along and we'll download the Alamo itself. There it is. So we download that. All right, so we will need to restart. But in the meantime, I'm going to go along and install the front end card as well. And then we'll restart. So we'll go to the Alamo card. And we will download that as well. All right, so now we're going to need to restart our system. So we'll go to system and restart. This is in order to get all the Alamo stuff loaded into Home Assistant. All right, so now that it's restarted, we're going to go to settings, devices and services, and we're going to add that Alamo integration. Help if I spell it right, L-A-R-M. There we go, Alamo. So we'll click on that and that will load it. I'm not too worried about the area that's going to be installed in. All right. So now we can go along and we can find our Alamo on the left-hand side here. So I click on Alamo. Now, the first thing we want to do is we need to add some sensors to this device in order for it to work. So I've got a couple of door and PIR sensors that I'm going to load here. So we click along here to the sensors. And you'll see that it's already picked up a whole lot of sensors that is found in my system. So to kick this off, I'm just going to add my front door open sensor. Um, I've got another magnet sensor here that will actually be my back door. Um, then I'm going to do this motion sensor and this motion sensor. So I've now got four sensors that it is going to add in. So we just click here, add to alarm, and these will now be added to my alarm system. So now we can go back to general. Uh, basically, you can see here we've got various modes. We've got away, uh, armed home, armed night, armed vacation, or custom bypass. So I'm not too worried about it at the moment. The next thing I need to do is create an action to get my um, system working. So we want to add a notification. All right. So what is the event? So um, the notification I want is when the alarm is triggered. So it's going to trigger when it's in the away mode. Um, next thing I'm going to do is what do I want to do on the alarm trigger? So what I want to do is I want to send myself a message um, on my um, phone, basically to tell me. So here we go along and we go to the device. Um, so I'm going to say Simon's iPhone and I'm going to say title, alarm, all right, and then I'm going to go, the alarm is triggered, and it's going to show me which sensors have actually triggered the alarm. All right, so I can save that, and there we go. My basic Alamo system is now all set up. Now, so next we need to go and create an alarm code for a user so that we can cancel the alarm if it's going off. So I'm going to say require code for disarming and require code for arming. Uh, it's going to be a pin code. So I'm going to create a new user with a pin code. So I'm going to create myself. So it's going to be Simon and I'm going to code one, two, three, four. And I'm going to put another code one, two, three, four. And I'm going to save that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add an alarm panel to be able to control it. So I'm going to go along here and I'm going to create a new view and I'm going to call it Alamo. All right. 
and we'll just use the standard masonry view. Now that we're there, we want to add a card. We're going to add the alarm panel. And there we go. So we can have different options here. We can have arm home, arm away. Those are the two that I'm interested in. So I'm basically going to save that. And now we've got our panel. So this could be easily displayed on a tablet or something somewhere near your door, perhaps, so that you can arm it when you go away. So all I do now is I put my code in, one, two, three, four, and I go arm away. And now the system will go into arming mode. So once it's in arming mode, it will basically wait until one of those sensors is triggered. It will then send me a text message telling me that I've been, that my house has been invaded. So anyway, that's all for now. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.